Is the public being as cooperative as the police force is? They are. Well, they are. A lot of people, you know, the protesters have been walking through the streets. They've been blocking traffic. For the most part, a couple of cars have been honking in support. Um, everybody's being pretty patient. This area, it's been uh, rather remarkable because the demonstrators have really had free reign. You see the Barclays Center just beyond me there. Uh, we are now at a mall. They exited the mall just moments ago. They uh, were walking for about a total of four hours. They came here. They staged a number of die-ins at this very busy area in Brooklyn. Uh, the police were really sort of forming a perimeter around them, allowing them to march in the street. They were not aggressive. They allowed the people to speak, to make their voices heard. A lot of folks that we spoke to said they really want to make sure that the voice of Michael Brown and Eric Garner and everybody else uh, who has been the target of police uh, excessive force, that in fact those voices continue. But you can see it's been relatively calm. You can see sort of the perimeter of the police out there and the protesters still. Uh, it is breaking up. It's breaking up. They marched for about four hours, and uh, now one of the organizers said, thank everybody for coming, thank everybody for being peaceful, and said, uh, said another date for Wednesday when they'll meet again at City Hall, Drew. Thanks, Deborah. Appreciate it again. Uh, we, will we will attempt to re uh, sort of check in with you as we go through the evening tonight. Let's bring in now a behavior bureau. Judy Ho, clinical psychologist. Vanessa Barnett, Barnett still with me. Judy, of course, professor at Pepperdine University. Jennifer Kitt, life coach. Judy, my question to you is, do you think the protesters each have a, a specific goal in mind? Or in this day of social media, when people get swept into these mobs of activity, are they just wanting to be a part of something? Is it gratifying to be a part of a big group? Great point, Dr. Drew, and I think that everybody's motivation is different. There might be some people whose specific goal when they got involved was to actually try to change nationwide policing reform. However, there are people who do just get swept up, like you mentioned earlier in the clip that we just showed. There is the mob mentality. There is the wanting to believe in something. And once you be in, become involved in a group like this, you are susceptible to group think. And even yeah. when the anger and the passion isn't yours, you will be driven to do things that maybe somebody else next to you is doing just because you're swept up in that primal emotion, as you said. I, I, that's absolutely, and, and I'm, not, I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, a lot of good can happen with that. Jennifer, my question is, to you, a lot of these young people I've talked to want to equate what they're doing with the civil rights movements of many 50, 40, 50 years ago. This to me feels quite different. How do you perceive it? I do think that it is different. Um, I think some of the fundamental injustice, themes of injustice, themes of, of no tolerance, themes of profiling, themes of, of targeting, I think some of those themes that are very real to the civil rights movement are showing up here. But I do think that it's an entirely different conversation. It's an entirely different discussion that needs to take place right now. I, and I think it's important that one generation speak to another because mm -hmm. they, they, they want it to be as important as what was going on then. And it is, it is as important, but it's different. It's not the same. Things, things are better, Vanessa. Am I, am I overstating it? Things are better, but when you tell a community of people that what they're doing maybe doesn't hold as much revel relevance as something that has happened before, they're initially going to be on the defensive because for many people, it is very similar. If there is one injustice, that's one too many, and it doesn't matter if it has the same weight as it did 60 years ago for okay. you, but fair, it does for enough. some of these people. No, fair enough. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's why I, I actually want to try to make sense of it.